Double Agent. Sounds like something out of a James Bond thriller, doesn't it? Sadly, it is not that exciting. But the meaning is not that far off, as in the movies there is one agent working for the good guys and the bad guys. There are many items you will come across when studying for your real estate exam that people will say to you, you will never use that after you will pass. Well, this is not one of those things. This will come up in your real estate career quite a bit. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It all just depends how it is handled by the people involved. This commonly happens when potential buyers who don't have an agent contacts a seller's real estate agent at an open house or from some advertisement. They can ask the seller's agent to submit an offer on their behalf. If the agent does this, the agent would be acting as a dual agent. Dual agency in a real estate transaction means the broker represents the seller and the buyer. Dual agency can occur with two agents. To understand this further, you have to remember that the agent is not really the one being hired. It is the broker. This may seem odd as a client only has contact with the agent and may never see the broker. But remember, the agent works under the broker. Therefore, technically speaking, the agent is soliciting business for the broker, not themselves. When the transaction is completed, the broker is the one who has actually paid the commission. The broker will share the commission with the agent who solicited business and completed the transaction. Understanding this will help you understand how a dual agency can occur when there are two real estate agents involved. Because the buyer agent and the seller's agent may be licensed under the same broker. Dual agencies have potential conflict of interest for the buyer and seller, which is why they're not allowed in some states. Where dual agencies are allowed, the real estate agent must inform the buyer and seller of that dual agency in writing. This can impose some restrictions on a real estate agent. Haven't you ever had to mediate an argument between two friends or even a couple? It can be uncomfortable because the two parties are at odds and you must be looking out for both their interests and therefore cannot take one party's side over the other. The agent is required to treat both buyer and seller with fairness and honesty. The agent is required to provide full disclosure regarding the property and cannot reveal confidential personal information of either party. Because you are looking out for both parties' interests, when it is time to make an offer, the real estate agent cannot advise the buyer or seller on the price to offer and the price to accept. In short, the agent loyalty is now gone as they cannot try to advance the interests of one party over the other. You have to stay neutral.